Yesterday, we spent some time in Animus Forks before heading to our campground west of Silverton. Okay, we are done backtracking. And now we're going up on the uh, National Backcountry Byway towards Cinnamon Pass. This is fairly steep. You might want to go to a low range and four-wheel drive. This morning we returned to Animus Forks and turned onto the Alpine Loop headed toward Cinnamon Pass. Go straight ahead. Yes, sir. No sir. Copy that. Engineer Pass, Cinnamon Pass, and Animus Forks to the left. We were at Animus Forks yesterday. I have to put it in four wheel drive. Got a motor behind you, Larry. The tailings pile on the left is from a former zinc and gold mine. I can pull up and be fine. I was going to say it's pretty narrow here. Cinnamon Pass. Cinnamon Pass is a tight right turn. It's a tight one. Oh, nope, complete with waterfall. You make the right going up towards the bank. Well, I was watching you and figured I'd take a slightly different path. Yeah. If you swing too wide, there's a hole for a culvert drainage, and uh, you don't want to get stuck in that. What does this road otherwise go up to if we don't make this turn? That goes to the engineer pass. And that comes out where? On Highway 550. Uh, up out of um, your rate. You've got to go up a ways and everything else and then do some switchbacks. Um, and then you turn right and go towards Lake City or turn left and then go down towards Mineral Point and out to 550. Well, my acrophobia is starting to get active. <laughs> as long as I don't look over the side, I'm fine. Back in about five years, you can measure up. 
made the turn. We're about uh, 100 yards into it already. Well, I'm on the second right, the one that uh, takes us over seven, the second right. Okay, I will do. Yeah, we're all past that second right. I can see everybody. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're going back maybe 10 years ago, and um, I can see why we're not seeing a lot of marmot stuff like that out in the middle. Cinnamon Mountain at 13,328 feet is to the right.
a yeah, little ground squirrel. Watch out, little guy. <laughs> I hope you moved. Well, we've got, can't see how many, they disappeared around the corner, but there's some side-by-sides coming at us. They haven't gotten me yet. I don't know how many, though. Drainage on the right is Cinnamon Creek. Wood Mountain, about 13,600 feet, should be the one on the left. And I think Edith Mountain, at 12,620 feet, is directly in front of us. There's another mine workings off to the right. And we're getting close to the top of Cinnamon Pass. There's another ground squirrel. Hi. 
he poked his head up uh, from behind a rock to check me out. Definitely need to be paying attention up here and not let your mind wander. Tracy, I got eyes on everybody now, and you're quite a bit ahead of Larry. Oh, you know, not that it matters. I mean, there's only one road. Yeah, I got eyes on Frenchie. It's not a big deal. You can go ahead, Frenchie, if you want. And we are just about to the top of Cinnamon Pass. I wonder if Cinnamon Pass got its name from the brown color of the grass.
sign up here that talks about Sandra and stuff like that. So that we make sure that if I remember correctly what it says. And uh, these are location signs within the tab of the two. Yeah, I'd like to stop and take a picture. Top of Cinnamon Pass. Oh man, that's gorgeous. Time to get out and take a look around. And welcome to the top of Cinnamon Pass. Just gorgeous. Brown is the uh, type of tundra. This is the way we came up Cinnamon Pass. Up through that valley. Boy, is that pretty. <laughs> and we're going to be going down this way, just off sort of centered in the frame you can see just barely see the road down in the next valley that we'll be on just gorgeous up here a little bit chilly a little bit windy oh. Okay, now we are. As you go down, um, you'll notice there's some wood and piles that'll be scattered on a couple of those. Here comes the Jeep coming at you, and a second white one. We're heading down off of Cinnamon Pass, heading for Lake City. I'll pull up here just a few feet away. He got the right away. Anyhow, you'll see those um, piles laying down, and those were part of the tram structure that they used to um, haul the ore up and down in the buckets. Frenchie, I'm assuming these poles are for the uh, snowplow to see where the road is. Snowplow, yes, it is. and then there are people that bring snow machines up here in the winter as well.
have side by side coming up the road to uh, white security line. Nice view. Looks like some switchbacks are coming up. They're from Minnesota. Howdy.
one side by side coming up towards us here. Uh, there's switchbacks here. I don't know where he's coming up. I'll let him know that you guys are behind me. There, I think she pulled forward a little bit. It's quite a side hill by you and me. I told him you were behind me, and uh, I said, you guys know he's coming up, and he just up and took off, so he's in a hurry. I just see four side-by-sides coming up. You got room for them to come by. Okay, nope. If you look off to my right down the canyon a little bit through the trees there, you can see part of the, a bigger structure which was part of the tram system. Uh, the I believe. Waiting for other vehicles is all part of the trip. All I can do is relax and enjoy the view. Minor, there's one that's passing me now. Is there more? Was there another one behind the one that just passed me? I didn't hear. I believe there is. He's kind of lost in the trees. He was at the very base when uh, these guys were passing by. The 
switchback corners are pretty torn up. Well, I hope that's on the road. <laughs> and apparently it was. I didn't go over the side. That one's tricky with that boulder in the center of it. So, Frenchie, you want us to pull over and stop, or what? Um, yeah, come on down. Come on down. Don't wait. Just come on down. Got me on the come on down. Jeep coming through the trees, a little narrow right there. like the ruins of a large building. It may have been associated with the Parkview mine that is above it. Nice looking cabin just to the left before the uh, next switchback.
and we're down into the trees. Hmm. Beautiful. the cabin stuck back in the trees as we come around the corner and just make out the roof. As you come down that base of the top, that very big um, top, well, kind of harder to act, and then it's like being wild flower blue and stuff like that. We are now in the Lake Fork of the Gunnarsson River Valley. The road continues for another 22 miles on a gentle slope down through Burroughs Park and paralleling the Lake Fork of the Gunnarsson River to Lake San Cristobal and then on into Lake City. You are invited to join us next time as we continue our west-east journey up to the top of Los Pinos Pass.